Two boys. One brain cell. One brain cell. I'm Joel. And I am Chuckles. And today we are checking out Amberlin's deco- wait, decoder and Banshee. Ooh. We have a double header here for you guys. Off the Convinced album. Yes, we already checked out Last Rain. Mm-hmm. And I figured, why not? You know, I'm not very convinced right now. You're not very convinced? Well, let's see if this can change your mind. Decoder, let's go. Let's do it. Okay. Okay. What'd you get from this song? Mm, I lyrically you're saying? Yeah. Oh, dude, I don't know. Mm. Let's take a look here. So loose lips sink ships. Chaos now surrounds me. I've changed since the very first moment that you found me. Critical mask under attack. Anyone but you. Devotion lies in truth. Can I just say it's over? Complicated decoder. I think it's one of those things like, like you. I I want to explain what's wrong, but you're but not sure. But something's wrong with me, and something's changed within me, and I just don't want to be here no more. Yeah, I was gonna say R is just like a. There's something wrong with the relationship, or there's something happening that is just too complex emotionally to explain. And hence the complicated decoder. But yeah, I could be so he wrong. just wants to say, it's over. Like, yeah. I'm done. Yes. I want to walk away. I can't explain it because it's too complicated to explain. I don't want to get into it. I just don't want to be here. I don't want to be in this no more. I feel like you can make this a Seinfeld skit really easy. Like George and Seinfeld just arguing at the, at the cafe. Like, can I just walk them and just say, listen, we're done. And just leave? <laughs> Tell me you can't see that in the situation. <laughs> that they argue about on that show for sure for sure leave it to you to jump into the Seinfeld I, I even look more like a nerd now because of my freaking hoodie <laughs> I'm wearing a Seinfeld hoodie <laughs> Vandalay Industries somebody might like Seinfeld uh, a little uh, little more than uh, I like Seinfeld a lot I do. I, I do enjoy Seinfeld I don't even know why. I haven't watched, it's, it's I a haven't very watched casual, all of it. I don't know why dude this is a very casual show it's like my background show it is show. a great background great show great background show just like uh, 
for me, it's uh, Friends or How I Met Your Mother. Yeah, yeah honestly, shift. any of those sitcoms are great oh, background. 100%. Yeah. Um, there was something instrumentally that was just a little too high pitched for my ears. And um, I don't know what the hell it was, but it was just on the edge of bo- being bothersome. And I guarantee you, now to be here clear here, guys, before you guys jump all over me, this headset, you get every little nuanced sound. So there has been many times that I've complained about a very, very small sound. That we don't even hear when we play And then you that. listen to it in a casual listening car, headphones, never notice it. So it's just mainly Just like these. I'm wondering if the vocals are going to be up outside of these. Probably not. Because they definitely sounded very, it sounded like it wanted to be very atmospheric. Yeah. But it tried to be really hard, like rock it, at the same time. Yeah, but it didn't feel atmospheric. No. No, it just felt kind of clouded. Yeah. That seems right. Now, it's that not necessarily a bad song, but it came off as average because of that. Especially compared to the first song that we checked out off this uh, EP. I definitely Last dig the vibe that it's hitting overall, but, but. I want those lyrics to be turned up just that little bit so I can fully catch them. Yeah, I th- I think that's I think that's understandable. Yeah. Um, so I guess what uh, what are you going rating wise for this? Um, I'm going to go for decoder five point five, and I'm going to put it in a playlist to give it a shot. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go with a uh, five point three. Like I said, there was just something a little off by the sound, and. Like you, you 100% nailed that where it, it wanted to be at atmospheric, but just came off more as a, just a mash of sounds almost. Mm-hmm. It just didn't sound great to my ears, but it also didn't sound bad. So right. it just kind of fell in the middle there for me. Um, I don't think it's going to make a playlist. Fair enough. Yeah. So let's jump into Banshee now. Let's see, do it. see what we can find here.
and now we have the complete opposite problem. It just got super atmospheric. It got super atmospheric. It's too much of a vibe. It's shit. No, I'm just, whoa, I'm joking. Whoa. I was joking. Whoa. Vibes are good. Good vibes. Good vibes Great only. vibes. Great vibes only. <laughs> <laughs> so, vocals turned up. Somehow, they still... Were, they were crisp and poppy, baby. I know. Oh, dude. And somehow, we still got super atmospheric with it at the same damn time. I know. How that... the hell did everything I had to complain about about the last song just get... Twist, turned, and flipped on its head in this song. It's legitly like they took this song down here and just mashed it all in. And then on this one, they let it really just expand and get a lot of air. And it feels right. It feels good. This is a certified vibe. It's going to be a summertime night cruising jam for me for sure. I'll tell you that already. Oh, yeah. Dude, I could be sitting by a fire. Oh, shit. Having a nice glass of whiskey. Oh, dude. Yeah. Chilling. Nah, make it a claw. <laughs> or a claw. Whatever. <laughs> it don't matter. Just raise your glasses in the air. We chilling now. Yeah. <laughs> we having a good time. <laughs> oh, shit. I'll have the whiskey. You can have the claw. There you go. We're going to be on different <laughs> levels for sure. <laughs> uh, no, this is good. This is really good. I have no complaints here for this song. Yeah. You're going to be living the claws of the law. I'll be doing whiskey gets me tipsy. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> So, who goes first here, Chuck? Uh, you go first here. You think so? I think so. 8.8 8 playlist. Fuck. <laughs> blacked up. <laughs> Not by much. I love this up. song, dude. It's a vibe. 8.6 playlist. Yeah. <laughs> you were so confident. <laughs> I, you see why? I yeah. Mean. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. I knew I was going to be in the eights. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's going to be in the eights. I just wasn't sure where you were going to be sitting. Yep. Yep. That was a good ass song right there. I'll point you off. I was wrong and I'm sad. Just downright <laughs> beautiful, honestly. It, yeah. This, this was a tune. That is how you turn around after a second song. Okayness. Mm hmm. Which could potentially grow on me. We don't know yet. But, and then he'd come back with the third song. Banger. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> um, and I would also argue, so a lot of times when, you know, rock or emo bands, they go a little bit more towards this style of music. It often feels not as good as what a mainstream artist would pull off. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not saying this is mainstream because this doesn't feel mainstream, but it definitely has some vibes that you could see would be in mainstream, right? Mm -hmm. So they somehow did not lose their genuine uniqueness. Yeah. But yet somehow grabbed the appeal to me, at least of main, the mainstream music, like the vibe and the, but then they had those beautiful vocals that just floated oh, yeah. over time. Dude, I have nothing to complain about. Oh yeah. That's, that's a banger. <laughs> that is a banger. That's a certified banger from the boys. Banshee. Going to the boys playlist. Which one? <laughs> alternative maybe i don't know you're the genre guy well that's the problem with this that's i could probably put that in pop and get away with it okay okay but i don't think it i don't, I don't, I don't know i don't think that fits very well overall no no then what's your suggestion i don't know you're not being very helpful here i'm never helpful it's genre time this is like when i ask my wife where we want to go to eat and then i have to list things and get them eliminated before we can decide where it goes why am i constantly Constantly being compared to your wife. I don't like this game. You're the one acting like her. <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, goodness. I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's been like three weeks since I threatened that. No no worries, guys. I'll just have my wife replace him. <laughs> It'll be the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> just less fur. <laughs> A lot less fur. Now I'm going to get myself in trouble if we don't stop going hey, down this. Hey, her beard's not as magnificent either. Not quite. <laughs> it's non-existent. <laughs> non-existent. That would be why. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right. Well, we are two boys. We I'm, have one brain, brain cell. cell. I'm Chuck. I'm Joel. <laughs> and he's in trouble. I'm not going to sense it. You can vote for that brain cell in the comments below. But outside of that, smash that like button. Hit that subscribe and peace out. Peace out. <laughs>